Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is of course by the title A Aldi Grocery Haul. I have got some absolute bargains for you in this haul because we've actually got some bits from Home Bargains and Asda. So we've got some goodies to show you, there's some new in bits as well, um, so it's not just an Aldi grocery haul. I hope you're all doing really well, let me know how you are in the comments. I don't look my usual self because I actually had my makeup done today, but I've, I've literally got home in, from the food shop and pulled off the strip lashes because they were like flicking up a bit because I've been doing lots of bits today you'll see what I was doing today in my weekend vlog so if you like my videos stick on subscribe I have lots of different vlogs that I do here and I upload twice a week on a Wednesday and a Sunday at 6 p.m so if you enjoy this video and I always do these videos every so often so if you like them stick around subscribe and please let me know if you enjoy this video by giving it a big thumbs up it lets me know if you want to see more of these videos and you like seeing what I buy on the weekly from the food shop so let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up it lets me know so starting off with the veg I've started to buy potatoes without the packaging so they do lose potatoes for 23p each and I've noticed that they're much better for making homemade chips with in the air fryer because they're a bit much bigger so I've started to buy these instead plus it's less plastic so I bought four of them I've got a red pepper this is massive absolutely massive because I plan on making a chili in the week also I picked up some garlic for a change but we have three different types of garlic that I've bought well three different forms of garlic should I say got onion i was gonna say onion rings then it's not onion rings they're spring onions i've got garlic granules for cooking chili powder also got some heaps of ginger for when i start to make my ginger and lemon shots again i definitely want to get back into making that also got heaps of garlic puree just for when i'm cooking and things i've got some squash this week i picked up a summer fruits one because last week i actually got a apple and blackcurrant one which was actually really nice so i thought i'd try this one instead because i normally get the square bottles but i'm really getting bored of the flavor and i'm not a fan of the orange one they normally do a um is it summer fruits one or something like that or apple and strawberry it's, some, it's something along them lines it's a berry drink but yeah i'll try this one we've got some protein bits so we've got a protein mousse and a protein and rice chocolate flavor pudding we've got some air fresheners we always get our air fresheners from aldi because they're so much cheaper and they're actually cruelty free which is really really good i've actually created by perfume experts i do love their scents and they're super cheap under a pound and we've got the linen and lavender one they also do sweet pea calming zen and vanilla as well which we've actually had before i really love their sprays they're just so good it's better than paying £2.50 for a febreze one which is a ridiculous price when you can get these for under a pound i've got some sweet corn for a change i haven't had sweet corn in ages but i want to make a chili as i said this week but I just, sometimes i just fancy sweet corn then i've got some baked beans i've just realized they had a cheaper version of the baked beans that i was going to pick up but they didn't have this easy pull on the beans tin does anyone find it so much easier when the tins have these little pulley things rather than getting a, a tin opener and like literally nearly cutting your your finger to pieces opening it <laughs> or is it just me yeah i was gonna get the cheaper version even though these are only 42p anyway which is super cheap i love their beans they're so tasty but they've got an even cheaper one i think it's like 23p but they don't have the pulley thing that's why i didn't get it but even so budget friendly you can get beans 23p in, in a tin so super good and then we've got a cucumber because we have none of that left but we've already got a, a lettuce we've got another protein mousse we've got some hot and spicy chicken for adam just a quick disclaimer i always mention in my videos that i am vegan vegetarian my partner is not so these halls are super mixed we've got some frozen chicken breast for adam adam is my partner by the way for those that don't know we've got some mild cheddar slices for adam too we've got meat free mints which they haven't had in the store in weeks so i'm so happy to have this again because i really like this mints and it's super cheap literally 1.99 for that big bag and that lasts me quite a few weeks to be honest i can make vegan shepherd's pie i can make chili i can make spaghetti well not spaghetti like pasta you know pasta one those they're the main three dishes that i make looking at this photo it's making one chili now i've got some strawberries these were down for two two pound nine p this week which i thought was uh pretty decent they've got some protein pancakes it's not lovely we've got some garlic and coriander naan breads because me and adam are going to have a curry night at some point with this oh my vegan why did i say that's so funny then oh my vegan at sarg masala cooking sauce from asda which is two pound a jar i love this it's so good and so tasty and adam likes it as well it's not even like spicy or anything it's just a really nice flavor we've got no lamb kofters now I've been looking more at the back of packets of things that because I'm reading Ultra Processed People by Chris Van Tolken. I've recently read Spoon Fed by Tim Spector and 
I'm slow. I've been saying this on my channel for quite some time that I've been looking at things on the back and seeing what's what. This doesn't look too bad, but anything that's got like more than 10 ingredients in it that aren't like something you've got in the cupboard isn't the best for you, to be honest. But sometimes I allow myself to have them because you can't like. I don't want to get into that mindset of like obsessing over what's in food. So I don't want to get into that mindset and like end up having like some eating disorder over it. I don't want to get to that stage. So that's just me saying that there is going to be like ultra processed food in my hauls but I am aware of what I'm eating and putting in my body and things but for anyone that doesn't know I'm like I'm basically getting into nutrition and things like that but anyway I'm going off on a tangent if you want to know more about that I talk about it in my vlog sometimes for anyone that is reading that book please let me know in the comments down below I'd love to discuss it with you I'm literally on the first chapter of the book on to avocados ripen, av ri ripen at avocados ripen at home avocados these are so much better and they last me so much longer rather than getting the ones that are already ripe and it's cheaper as well We've got some bananas, we've got the Aldi mag. We've also got um, oat milk. So that's everything from Aldi. Let's have a look in the magazine for this week. So this is what's going to be available in store from Sunday 14th of March. It's definitely not March. It clearly says April as well. <laughs> I love it when they have all these like ideas of things. It gives you like such good inspo for food. These look heavenly. Biscuit truffles. I need to find them. Could actually make them at home. That might be a good idea. Masala potatoes. They sound gorgeous. Oh, recipes. Sorry, that was probably a bit too high pitched, but I'm going to be ripping that out and making that for sure. We've got some nutritious nibbles. Oh, another recipe. I love how they're doing this now. You scan the QR code and you get some recipes. That sounds really lovely. Walnut sultana loaf. I'm not sure about the walnut part because I'm not, to be fair, I've never actually tried a walnut. That might be quite nice. So that I'm going to rip out and use. What are these? Storage boxes. I've stopped using these scent boosters actually. I'm just um, not bothered. I just feel like it's an extra cost that's not needed, especially if you already use fabric conditioner because I use the tablets and the fabric conditioner so I don't really see the point in the fabric, in the booster bead things, bead boosters, whatever you want to call them. I've noticed literally so many people are into running right now and me and Adam actually are going to go for the wolf run this year in summer so anyone that's a runner please let me know your tips down below because I'm an absolute amateur more running bits oh cute little bikes that they've got in oh some cute little gadgets there oh I love an air for a recipe cauliflower shawarma Ooh, this sounds good Chicken swarma, spice, paprika flop, <laughs> flies, <laughs> fries. That sounds so nice. Oh, there's, oh yeah, they've got the recipe as well there. Yeah. Pause the video now if you want the uh, recipe off the QR code. Some cooking bits. I'm really loving getting back into cooking again. So if you, um, if you are new here, or if you're mainly here for my Aldi grocery hauls, I highly recommend, I'm not like trying to float my own boat, watching my what I eat in a day, what I eat in a week or weekend vlogs. So I show you what I cook and what I bake and what I eat basically. Um, and I run you through what I'm making. And uh, I make some nice stuff sometimes. It's nice to, you know, just make some nice food together. This looks like a tough mudder. What is this? Oh, I'd love to do a tough mudder actually. Has anyone done that either? I like to do like these running things, even though like, can't run save a life but you know <laughs> so these are the offers that were on when i went in today or were they yeah they were actually i think no they wasn't i know because i've seen these already oh well they're, they're for the first day the 11th of april anyway and that's it that is it for aldi so now we're going to move on to asda so from asda i picked up some frozen cauliflower florets because i love to have these in a freezer in a freezer where why can't i speak today I love to have these in the freezer for when I have like a curry night or I want some like extra veg and things for my dinner. Um, so I got that, I think it's like £1.35 or £1.30 I think. And um, we've also got some reduced bits. We love a yellow sticker you know, on this channel. We've got the Meatless Farm Mints. I know that I like this, I'm pretty sure. Um, £1.25 down from £3.25. We've got some honey roasted butternut squash and sage veggie rolls. I've never tried this before, but I'm going to put these in the oven, crispen them up, and these will be delish. So they're £1.15 down from £3. I've got my favourite deliciously Ella chocolate orange dipped almonds. Now I definitely need to do this at home because I've got loads of almonds that I could do this with. And what I love about deliciously Ella, I love their apple and cinnamon thing as well. If you look at their ingredients, there's nothing that you wouldn't have. I don't know about coconut mass, cocoa mass even. Um, nothing that you wouldn't normally get in your like kitchen cupboards. So I like that they don't have anything random in there like what I'm about to show you. 
um, on the back of some packets. So, Serene Lift Bars, I picked them up. They were on offer for £1.50. I literally love them. It made me think, let me have a look at the... Yeah, that's quite all to process too. But not everything is bad for you, but I noticed a lot of things have like emulsifiers in. And I'm currently reading in like bits and pieces about them at the moment, but I'm not going to bore you about it. Like if you want to, if you want to learn more about like ultra processed things, I definitely like say read Spoon Fed and Ultra Processed People books. They're they're very educational on the food in industry and what what is in food basically. But as I said, I won't repeat myself. So we've got some Oh My Vegan No Pork and Caramelised Onion Dinky Rolls. These are going to be lovely in the oven too. Two pound fifty down to eighty five p. So I picked up two of them. So I'll stick one in the freezer. And I also picked up this veggie tikka masala and rice, which was like. 165 because sometimes i really cannot be bothered to cook like say if i've been out all day been to work been to um see family or something and i'll come home and it's quite late this is just so easy just to stick in the oven not in the oven in the microwave but what's slowly putting me off is like how many bits are in here like i see exanthem gum stabilizers flavoring sweeteners emulsifiers and i'm just like if you made that at home, it wouldn't have all that stuff in it. Anyway, I'll shut up. <laughs> um, we've got Oh My Vegan Classic Chalk. These are new. These were, I think they were like £1.65 or something like that. They were under £2. And I picked them up. Carrot extract. That's a really random thing to be in an ice cream. Okay. Um, but yeah, I picked these up because it's something different to try. And then I've also got some vegan prawn crackers. I love these. We're having a fake away Chinese tonight, so that's why I bought these. Also got some Galaxy Hot Chocolate Vegan one because this was down to 250 because normally it's is it three pound fifty i think so i picked it up love that also got some pringles i love pringles but the book that i'm reading says that i'm going to end up not liking them after this after i've read the book but pringles are my weakness <laughs> and got the flaming cheese flavor i haven't tried that one yet and then also oh i just realized i didn't show you this from aldi the protein chocolate bites these are so nice and they're currently on offer for 149 in aldi which is so good for such a big box so how many how many grams is this 450 we love these and then also in asda i picked up three um i don't know what size jar they are i picked up four jars though um for the pantry because i'm actually going to do a kitchen organizer with me video at some point because i bought some labels and some new spice jars so that they all tie in really beautifully with the bamboo so it gives me proper pantry vibes so i'm going to do that with you in a completely separate video so stick around and subscribe if you would like to see that video or let me know in the comments down below if that would interest you at all so from home bargains we picked up a candle because we are actually out of all candles we've burnt them all and this one was the only one that we like the smell of um whilst we're in home bargains and it was only 1.99 which I thought was pretty good. So then we've got some minestrone soup. This was 79p. I love minestrone soup. I had that for lunch today. My favourite soup of all time. I don't even know what, what my next favourite soup is. Maybe tomato, but I don't love tomato that much. It's, it's always a winner with minestrone. I like carrot soup. Carrot and coriander. That's quite nice. We've got some refills of the Glade Pure Clean Linen for our um, sprays that would just sit around the house. We've got some knickknacks. I blooming love knickknacks. I can't even think what is in these, actually. Then we've got some Cherry Blossom and Rose Water Lenore Fabric Conditioner, which we thought smelled quite nice. That was $1.99, and that's 26 washes. And we've actually picked up some new washing tablets because I've noticed that the tablets we used before, I think they were surf, and sometimes you know when you wash your clothes it's like the advert that i've seen for this today this is what actually made me buy it very good marketing there from ariel um it said about how you wash your clothes and that they smell fresh but then you wear them and they've got that smell again if that makes any sense and our clothes do that sometimes when they're in the house i think it depends on the fabric especially when you've got like some primark clothes that like sometimes they hold on to the smell that they've had that they've had before the wash but this is supposed to get rid of that apparently from what the ad was saying so I was definitely influenced by the marketing advert that I've seen today on this. Funny how the world works. It's, when, it's funny how the marketing world works with all these adverts. But yeah, I picked these up. These were eight forty nine, and we get 34 in there. So it worked out pretty much the same if we were going to get the same as the um, same amount as the surf ones, really. So that is everything that we got today. So if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. As I said, it really does help me know if you do enjoy these videos and if you want more of them. Because sometimes I question, like, do you guys enjoy it? Because I don't know if you enjoy my videos unless you give it a big thumbs up. So let me know if you want more of these videos. That is the best way to let me know. And it is why I'm the comments but if you don't like commenting please do give it a big thumbs up because as i said it lets me know if you enjoy it and i'll do more of them for you other than that i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you very very soon for a brand new video bye i want to be the life of the party.